going to help endangered corals to survive some of the ocean acidification and high temperatures they're facing. This is a model of Zoe, which will be installed here in Cancun. And when we run the low volt electrical current to it, the minerals will deposit, building up around the steel so that corals can cement to it and have advantaged, a life supporting advantage to, to face some of these incredible environmental stressors they're facing now and causing deadly die-offs all over the world. With climate change, with carbon emissions, we're causing more acidity in the ocean. And that means corals are having a terrible time building their exoskeletons. Imagine this was once vibrant and bright with color. This is actually a piece of coral that got too hot. One degree Celsius for one month too long can cause them to bleach. And because they're plants and animals, what you're looking at is the skeleton where the living colorful plant and the living animal on the surface is no more. As an artist, it's the saddest thing in the world to see the most colorful, beautiful, natural living art turn into this decimated white chalky substance. Whether you live right by the sea or not, everything you do is interconnected. Be creative and pick a day of the week where you don't use any electricity in your house. Your actions will directly affect what happens in this beautiful ocean. Use renewable energy as much as possible and take public transportation and carpool and come up with your own innovative solutions to help prevent corals dying in the sea and help solve climate change.